If you want to improve in Valorant, or actually any other game, looking back at your own plays could be really helpful. During my Road to Diamond and Road to Immortal series, I always look back at my own games and often I see me making the same mistake over and over again. During the games, you often overlook these mistakes. So by spotting them through reviewing, you know where you can work on in the future. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can record your games, review them, and even edit and share them. But first, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Insights.gg. I'll be using their app in this video because it got everything you need to do all the things I mentioned before. I'm also using this app myself because it's just really nice to work with. So in this video I will explain how to install insights, how you can record even with a bad computer and how you can edit using this app. If at any point of the video you decide that you want to try out insights, there's a link in the description and it's completely free. Now let's start the video. So when you first start up insights you can see the keybinds but I will talk about that a little later. After that you will end up on this screen. You can choose between free presets that insights made for you. Of course you could also click on advanced for more settings but if you don't know much about recordings and you just want to start you can choose a preset that fits your PC. High performance is for low end PCs. It's less heavy for your computer but the recordings won't be at top quality. At high quality of course the recording will be at top quality but it will be a little bit heavy for your computer. And balanced is balanced my friend. And after this Step, you can start recording. But before I'm gonna talk about the recording and useful keybinds, I'm first gonna talk about the advanced settings. On Insights Capture, click on the settings button at the top right, there you can find the settings for recording. First, let's talk about the bitrate. Bitrate stands for the amount of data used to encode one second of video or audio. I know, I know, it sounds a little bit nerdy, but what you have to know is that the higher the bitrate, the larger the size of the video will be on your computer. But of course, higher bitrate also means better quality. Here are two examples. The first clip is with the bitrate of 2000 it's not very good quality and the second one is for what i'm using 8000 bitrate it's better now let's talk about the encoder you have two options you can encode the video on your video card or on your processor a trick i learned back in the day when i had a low-end pc was starting up all the games and look at the task manager to see where was the most free space but if you have a good video card i would recommend to just use the nvac also if you have a nvidia graphics card using the nvac encoder provides less choppy recording than nvidia nvac new and the rest of the settings tell themselves also you have the possibility to tweak the audio settings so hop into a custom game and balance your mic and the in-game sound now let's start about recording. When you start up a game, you see a small window pop up from Insights Capture. By default, you can press Alt plus X to remove the window. You can press F7 to start recording and F7 to stop recording. With Alt plus N, this fenster pops up and you can write notes. And with Alt plus B, you can make a bookmark. When you're done recording, you can see all the bookmarks on the timeline, so you can easily jump to a part of the video that you would like to see back. And of course, you can change the key bindings. In fact, I changed the key bindings to the arrow points because I never used them and uh, it's easy to use them for this. Now let's talk about why I think this app is so great. After you play the game, you can see everything you need in the timeline. When you died, when you make a kill, when you place the bookmark. This makes searching for specific key points in the game very easy. You could also find your notes at the top right. In this game, I kept track on how many times I died in specific ways. I really need to do my warm-ups. Also, for the people who are interested in coaching or just want to share with the friends, you can upload the video on Insights with one click. When your friends or the coach spot something, they can add comments on a specific time point. Very nice. And the last thing we're gonna discuss is editing. On Insights, you can edit the highlights of your game or just edit the clip out. On Insights, click on Clips, then put in your starting point and your end point. Easy as that. Or go to the timeline and drag the start and end point of your clip. You could also fuse two clips together by clicking on Add Clip. And this is it. An introduction how you can record, edit and share your games. Insights also has an active Discord server, so feel free to join them with the link in the description. You can ask them all the questions you want. Or of course, if you have any questions about recording, feel free to to ask me in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next one. Peace.